Now we're here at La Las Gorditas to celebrate San Antonio's culinary history. See here at the restaurant, they're serving up decades old recipes. Let's go check it out. Joining me now is one of the owners out here, Stephen Pizzini. Thank you so much for having us oh, out here at Lala's. Thanks for coming, David. All of this food, it's incredible. And one of my favorite parts about it is it's all made from scratch. That's right. Lots of love put into this. Well, my family started the Teca Molinos in the 30s, and then my dad opened the Taco Hut in 1958. My mother's here. She's now 96 years old. We opened the original Taco Hut on Eureka in 1958, and the recipes were my mother-in-law. And we have a lot of long-time customers dated way back to 1958. When I come here, I usually get the cheese enchiladas, uh, bean cups. I go way back uh, to the Taco Hut days. Well, I always order the puppy tacos. I think they're the best in the city. Bean and cheese cup, Ooh. avocado cups. Everything's good on the menu. I like to order the guacamole cup with something like a puppy taco or a gordita. Everything is just so colorful, so vibrant. I want to Thank start you. right over here. This uh, is our El yeah. Poquito de Tolo. You get two puppy tacos, a bean roll, a guacamole cup, and iced tea. Uh, we stuff our tacos with beef or chicken. Grab one of these with me here. Me? Yes, oh, you're eating with right. me. <laughs> green salsa made in house as well. You want some green oh, yeah, salsa? Oh, that's very spicy. Mm. Mm. That is spicy. The puffy tacos out here are next level. All of the masa is made from scratch. It's absolutely delicious. It has the right amount of saltiness you want there, but the most important thing, it holds up. So when you pick it up 10, 15 minutes later, it's not breaking through the bottom. And the stuff on the inside, you can get chicken, you can get beef, and you can get a vegetarian style. I mean, it's just loaded with flavor. Yeah. Another thing you're known for, the cups. There's bean cups, mm -hmm. there's guacamole cups. There's also a special Brian's cup mm -hmm. on the menu as well. Yes. This right here is the guacamole cup. Check this out. Got a tomato slice on top, the guac in the middle, a little bit of lettuce on the bed there. I'm gonna take the bite. Mm -hmm. Here's the bug. Now the gorditas right here. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned that you have the different ones that are stuffed over here. Grab one with me. Right. I'm, I'm eyeball. I like our chicken one. Right, I'll go for this one. Okay. Which and one did you grab? One I got our ground beef. Oh man. All right. I'm gonna put a little bit of green sauce on. You want some? Yeah, go for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're wild, man. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh god. I mean, that's messy. I eat this food every day and it's still good. It's in the name, so you know it's got to be delicious. The gorditas out here are actually a different masa recipe than the puffy tacos and the cups. But you could tell, man, it's just loaded with flavor. It's a little bit thinner than those puffy tacos, but it's super crispy on the outside. And those pockets, that's just pockets of goodness in there. This is so tasty. Look at me. <laughs> but like you said, this one doesn't have any flour in it. Correct. And you can tell instantly the flavor is different, mm -hmm. the texture is different. This is what you're known for. It's the name of the restaurant. Correct. And this is this is where it's at. Now, is this recipe the same one that's been around for decades? Well, no, actually, I, I, I created this recipe when we opened Lala's three years ago. Mm. So wow. The puffy tacos and the guacamole cups have been around for decades, since the 30s. All right, this right here, cheese enchiladas, uh -huh. beans, and rice on the side. There These look go. like extra gooey. They are extra gooey. Lots of cheddar cheese. Lots a of little, cheddar cheese. Some of that little gravy action going there on in there. Go. Look at that. That's a red New Mexico chili powder gravy. Mm. So simple, but done right. This one right here. Oh, these are delicious. The one chicken. of my favorite dishes that we make here. Yeah. Tangy. Ooh, yeah. yeah. It's tangy. It's got a nice salty note to it, but the cream kind of helps balance all that out as well. Enchiladas, you can get it with a red sauce or the traditional green verde sauce on there. So you can get chicken or cheese. And let me tell you, either one of them, they're slightly smoky, they're bold, they're tangy. It's the right flavors you want. The crema, they're making it fresh in house over here as well. Loaded with cheese. These things are no joke. The rice, the beans, you can get refried or baracho. I mean, so many options, so many varieties out here that people can choose from. You're gonna find something you love. Just true, authentic food, made from scratch, made with love. And you're, you're a part of history here in San Antonio. And you know, and people love that. And that's yeah. why they keep coming back. Thank you so much for having us out here. Oh, Lala's Gorditas, a historic part of San Antonio. You can come try a little bit of history over here. I mean, really good food, though. Thank you so much. Thank you, David. I'm going to keep eating this guy. <laughs>